Okay, so here it is after I sanded it. Um, this bottom part is pretty good. You'll notice in these spots right here in between the glue, there's actually glue there. I don't know if it's a uh, remnants of the hot glue, but this part right here is smooth as could be. But those spots right there, it's like sanding rubber. So I suppose you could use something and if you want it smoother than that, I don't care. Um, I don't care. But up here, you'll see that there is a groove. There's a definite groove in there. It's going to be the neck. So, I mean, we all kind of have a groove at the neck. Ha ha. Anyway, um, so I think I'm done um, sanding this. But this, you know, my end result. So, you know, I was thinking about it. Once I do this little person here, the hair should be the plant that you put in it. But since it doesn't have holes in it, you shouldn't put a plant in it. So, I think I might be able to take a long drill bit and drill holes down in here that'll hit the, these two, and then this one will be easy to drill. So, anyways, off to more work. It's not perfect. It's actually kind of terrible. I got those eyebrows on still. But yeah, so remember the plant is going to be his hair. And I have uh, little pots, little plastic pots. I got a bunch of succulents in that I'm going to use for, um, it's going to have arms and legs. So, well, the twine will be his arms and then the cups will be, or the little planters, I mean, will be adhered to that. Gosh, that glare just absolutely sucks. I'm sorry. So sorry. Um, need a softer light bulb, I guess. But anyway, I don't know what that white spot is. But I, anyways, I'm just painting the face right now. Um, I'm not doing anything important, but I just remembered that I was making the video, so. Shoot, I don't know what happened. My, I hit pause and I went to unpause it and it just dis my camera just disappeared. So, um, yeah, what the heck, I'll just do this on live camera. I'm just going to draw some cutesy little eyebrows here. I want them to be up in a, all I do is I line up like from where my eyeball goes up, the black line, I'm sure you can't see, but the, the, it's right here, the black line from the actual pupil up and then I went past it a little bit makes it look kind of, I don't know, maybe surprised, or, and there's no way to get it perfect, probably, trial and error, uh, looks like my error wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, maybe if I turn on a solar light, maybe it won't be so bad, sorry about that, I've been trying to clean my room, it's moved kind of behind me, but my back is so bad right now, I'm having a hard time. Did that make it worse or did it make it better? Let's see what happens here. Well, I think you can see a little bit better. Anyway, there's his face. Um, let's see his little eyebrows. There. Um, so I'm going to uh, get my brush cleaned off. I'll be right back. Paint the little white dots on his eyebrows.
Okay, so before, you know, you want to make sure that you have a fine tipped brush. This is a little, I don't even know where it came from. I bought it a long time ago. But make sure that you don't have hairs, you know, flying off all over. When you go to um, do the paint, you just want a little dip on there. You just want to get, like, this has um, uneven uh, bristles. So I'm just barely going to touch. Just barely. There. And there. Oops. Got too barely on that one. So it's I don't know if that's gonna make a little bit of a maybe I better get that off there. Okay. That will do yeah. Everybody used that. I think it was Dippity Doo. Not back in my day so much. I mean I remember commercials. Oh yeah, that's better. Someday I'll get used to this backward camera thing. Anyway, if you make a mistake, your base color is blue, your your eyeballs are black. So if you make a mistake on the, you know, like the eyebrows or whatever, you just go in with your blue and you fix it. If you make a mistake on your um, black eyeballs, there you go in with your black and you cover it up. It's I I didn't know that painting was as easy as it is to do. Um, sometimes I think we, th we overthink things and I wish I had every single um, drawing that I've ever done because um, I was good at it but I gave myself a hard time. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I'm just thinking maybe put a shine on it or something. Anyway, uh, There's something about his eyeballs. I tried to make him look like he's looking up. I don't know if I it. His black nose is definitely not going to be there because I don't like it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, and the red here. I was trying out different colors. That's not going to be that color. I got white paint on him. Not a big deal, like I said, because I'm gonna, you know, touch it up. But don't be intimidated. So I went in search of, and I found them right away. These little pots, we got succulents in. The succulents were like 25 cents a piece. My husband bought a whole flat of them, so we have a whole flat of these little cups. So I think I'm gonna paint the the hands white and the feet red. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how long well this is going to adhere to this. So I'm going to give them a light sanding and then before I um, do the painting. Um, I don't have a red spray paint or I would just go ahead and spray paint them. But we'll see what happens. So me and my jumping ahead, I did not sand these, but the paint is going on so well. But remember now, you're going to see the inside of the hands and feet. Um, you, you know, you're not going to see like everything inside, but you're going to see a lot of what you're doing. It's kind of hard to paint with your hand on it. Uh, anyway, the paint's going on really smooth. I uh, am pleasantly surprised. I figured I was going to have a hard time with it like I do with almost everything. But anyways, make it as perfect as you want it to be. Um, then sit it down. Not sit it down. Sit it down. Anyway, I call it floral. Nope. 
this is not a good one. So I'm gonna go with sailing. Didn't go. Scissors and bat scissors. Bat scissors and bat scissors. Too big for the little one. No, I think it'll be good. Anyway, I uh, had to go digging in my stash back here. I'm working on this. This is definitely a work in progress. There's so many different things in there. Flower pots from flower pots. There's that. What do you call it? Raffia stuff. Got wood slats from our old uh, flower girl, so everything just gets put into a tote. And then I try to put everything away because I'm missing out on stuff I could be using. If I, you know, just throw everything, you know, like right now. Where the heck did that come from? Are you sucker? How? It's gotta be from my fingers. Anyway, I like everything but his mouth. I'll probably be blessed. Anyway. Um, yeah, if I don't uh, put everything away, then I forget I have it and I'm not using it, obviously. So I need to put everything away and be organized about it. And that's the problem because with my back issues, it's hard for me to bend and do anything at all. So, yeah, it's a. Uh, It is. Okay, so as far as coverage goes, the little dude, um, this is not terrible. I don't know. Why my lighting is so freaking bad? Um, but anyway, the coverage is, I think it's not my lighting, it's the camera. Um, yeah. It's not a very expensive camera, but shadow on it. Okay, there we go. You can see, um, you can see all my imperfections too. Anyway, it's the same coverage here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a, you know, a second coat on these. Um, and I want to show you that the pods themselves were too far down. Or no, these came in a kit, so these are a dollar a piece. You don't, but they come in twos if you just buy the pot themselves. But it came with a little kit that I was going to do with my granddaughters, but never got around to it. So I had three of them, and so that makes this three dollars. But normally, normally it would be a dollar fifty. But the paint is. How dare we put something away? dollar a bottle and the coverage you know the coverage is uh, pretty decent on it. I mean there's the red the little shadow on it without blocking the whole thing. But anyway so there's the red and I noticed that my camera doesn't picture the red color cor correctly. So that looked like I hadn't even done anything to it, but I actually did. Um, so, we got dollar paint. These were 25 cents. They could have even been 10 cents. It was the end of the season, and Kroger was trying to get rid of them. So, they had them marked down. I told my husband to pick me up a few of them, and he got me a whole flat. So, and I haven't even killed them all. I've still got some of them that are alive. Anyway, when you go to do something, um, make it your own, you know, don't, don't be afraid, like, like if I decided to use the white for the arms or the hands and the red for the feet, you can make them black, you can do brown, you can do whatever color you want to do, um, 
make them both white or switch them up. You know what? Make the arm, the hands red and the feet white. That might be cute, actually. I might do that, but, um, you know, when I watch crafting videos, sometimes I don't like the choices that they make on them, but I always think, well, if I was going to do that, I would do, you know, yada, yada, yada. And a lot of times, you know, I'm, I'm intimidated by something. But once I start doing it, I'm like, oh, oh, that's what, you know. So don't be afraid to start a project. And don't be afraid to finish a project. And you know what? Do it on your own time. Or do it at your own, you know, if you don't feel like finishing it today, finish it next week. So you don't, you know, this for me is a, is an outlet. Um, I, I want to tell you that I used to sleep 10 to 14 hours a day. I mean, I slept. Sometimes I would get off work. Oh, God, I'm so dumb. I would get off work on um, third shift on uh, Friday morning. And if I had the weekend off, I would sleep. When I got home that morning, get up, maybe eat, go back to bed, sleep all night, get up, maybe eat, go back to bed, sleep all day, get up maybe for a couple hours, you know, try to stay up that like Saturday night because I need to sleep Sunday during the day, but sometimes I couldn't stay awake and I would just sleep the whole weekend away and my husband would be so irate. He's you know, you're wasting your all your, your time, but what I try to explain to people was, if that's what I want to do, then it's not wrong. This is my life. You know, you're a part of my life, and I want to go out and have fun, you know, sometimes, but sometimes I'm just tired, and I don't want to feel guilty about, you know, the choices that I make. Like, if I feel like I need to sleep, then I want to sleep. But now... That I've been crafting, I'm getting <laughs> maybe four hours of sleep, and it's not, it's not, you know, I'm not purposely choosing to not uh, sleep. I'm having trouble. I've been having trouble since Christian died, um, you know, 2019, and uh, so I've taken up this this hobby so that when I wake up. And I can't go back to sleep, I'm not frustrated. But I do wake up early sometimes just because I want to come down here and start a new project because I thought of something or, you know, whatever. So I need to sleep more, but I can't get sleep. But instead of being all frustrated about it, I'm taking it with a grain of salt and a camera and a paintbrush. So, you know, I just wanted to say that this can be... Fun, just absolute you know what I found out that I like to paint so when I get up here you know with the paintbrush not this one but the other one I did which is right here um, I came up here and or I actually sketched it with a pencil and then I uh, came down here traced it with a sharpie and then painted um, painted the you know, like precision, like I messed up here on his nose, which you can see, I'm going to repaint him. And I, you know, I, I was just a little bit shaky because I was unconfident about using that Sharpie on here. And, um, I'm sorry, my back is just killing me. Um, so anyway, once I do it, then I'm like, hey, that was easy, but I started painting and I'm like, I like this. I like this paint, you know, this precision painting. This painting, nah, not so much, but the precision painting, um, I painted a the cement statues. I put my hands up like you can see this one. Um, the, you know, the normal size statues of the Dutch boy and girl. Um, somebody gave them to me. Oh, that's right. We wanted to buy the set for, um, for my mom-in-law and uh, somebody had stolen hers so we wanted to get those for her we wanted to replace them but the you know they were they were pretty messed up well i started i got them 
and they, we, we special ordered them kind of from a guy at, a, at the Paul Paul Michigan Flea Market and uh, they were terrible and my husband didn't notice it when he picked them up but they were just full of holes and I mean the, the cement is just crumbling on them. Well in the meantime my kids brought me over a set that they had picked up um, somewhere and I was like, you know what, she deserves the better set. And this set was just absolute awesome shape. There's a chip here or there. It just needed a new paint job. So I went ahead and did that and I had fun the whole time. Like, don't turn your um, exacto knife the wrong way and then lean on it because that wouldn't be very smart, would it? But anyway, so I decided at that point that this was going to be my outlet. This is what I was going to do. So then my, my neighbor, when she found out that I was doing the Dutch Boy and Girl, she gave me three more statues to do. And the one of the little boy, oh gosh, I had so much fun painting that. Even if I couldn't match my paints up and I get a little frustrated, it was so much fun um, for me. And just sitting still and doing that really, you know, that really precise um, paint job. So I wonder if I would be a good painter. Um, I've never tried it. I've never tried, you know, getting a canvas and, you know, I suppose I could do it maybe if I sketched it out first because I'm a sketcher, you know. Um, when I did that face on that other one, I tried to sketch with a Sharpie. And yeah, it's a good thing for white paint. But I mean, I didn't mess up real bad. But when you sketch, you you know, you've got little light lines and you erase those lines when you're done. But you can't do that with a Sharpie. So I think I would have to, um, you know, maybe trace out the portrait first and then paint it. But um, just to do an abstract painting, I've, you know, I've not tried that, but I'm not really into that either. But I think, you know, we need to find things, a way to release things that, um, maybe even you don't even know are wrong so you know if I'm doing something and you like it and you want to try it don't be afraid of it just do it if I can do it anybody can I'm telling you when I put these together I had a heck of a time so I used E6000 and hot and I used the hot glue just try to hold it together and they kept falling apart, falling apart, falling apart, and finally I figured it out, which is, you know, I recorded on my phone, probably a few cuss words there. The problem is going to be with that video, with this video while you're watching, is that I'll have to take the sound out because of music playing in the background, because of the copyright issue with um, YouTube. So this part of the video I'll be able to um, keep the sound on but the rest of it I'm just not sure so we'll see and it's been a while I've lost some of my short-term memory I can remember things when I was three years old but I can't remember what I did yesterday sometimes not all the time but anyway don't be afraid do what you're you know if you feel like this is your calling then do it just start doing it you don't have to show anybody either. Like if I mess something up, I don't have to show you. You know, do what your heart wants to do. All right, enough blabbering. I mean, blabbering, blabbering. Okay, so I went ahead and put the arms on just to see how um, good or bad it's gonna look. So this arm is a little longer than this arm. Okay, now I can watch you so, instead of looking over. I know, but if you talk, you can hear it. <laughs> uh, and that's my that's my granddaughter Cadence talking right there. Here she is. Hello, Cadence. Hi. So, anyways, I'm not sure that I'm digging this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the lights Are you on. Gonna do a video? I used E6000. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, I used E6 E6000 I made and the house, guys. E6000 and um. Hot glue. Hey, so, Cadence made her a house here. 
there it is. Her beautiful house. She did this by herself, pretty much. Grandma only helped just a little with the hot oil, so she wouldn't get burnt. And king, king. <laughs> yeah, she's got a skewer that she's using as a sword. So, so what I did was, this is a little bit bigger than four inches, and these are the small pots that they sell at the Dollar Tree. So, okay, so for the feet, I want them to come out, or the legs, I mean, I want them to come out so that they will dangle on the ledge that I set them on. So, I'm going to cut the rope. I'm probably going to stick to about four and a quarter um, inches. If I find the end. Yeah, I some. Oh, there it is. There's one end, here's two ends. Imagine that. So, yeah, I'm going to go about four and a quarter. And then I will um, come back on and show you how to stick them on. Okay, so I want to say, before I cut, I tape. I put a piece of tape on at the four and a quarter mark. That way when I cut, um, actually I'm going to put two pieces of tape and then I'm going to cut in between the two pieces. That way the, the rope doesn't fray. You know what, Nick's that. I'm just going to cut on this side of the rope, or the tape, because I'm just going to immediately glue that anyway. There's no sense in adding an extra... Um, an extra layer of tape on there to take off. Go back on video. Okay, so I have tape on each end of this one, so I'm gonna take tape off of one end. Um, and you know, you're just gonna immediately um, be sticking it onto the the um, paint person there. So I had trouble with my tape, so I just turned it off, turned the video off to. Uh, Get it straightened out. But anyway, it amazes me how comfortable children are these days with cameras. Back in my day, you know, of course, we didn't have the cell phones and whatnot. Um, so when someone broke out a camera, we'd automatically close our eyes or have our mouths wide open or something silly like that. Nowadays, kids are just so used to. The um, remember we went through the duck, the duck lips phase, and I probably should have put that further out, but I didn't. Anyway, so you saw I put the E6000 and hot glue, so one for um, one to hold it for the immediate hold, and one to hold it for the long run. Yes. Put a little bit more um, hot glue here. Seems to be. Maybe I didn't get enough because I don't want to let me set it down. Anyway, rope immediately frays. As soon as you cut it, it starts to pull apart. And you know, real, sometimes it happens with uh, twine also. Now, I don't even want to tell you what that looks like right now. But, yeah. Let me hurry up and get his other leg on. Make sure it's curved the same way. Yeah, I did. I should have should have went over. Oh, no, not with this face. It's all right. Okay, so this time I'm going to do E6000 around the edge only and the big blob of hot glue in the center. I always pull on the tube and that keeps it from running out. If you pull on the tube, it kind of sends it back in, sends the glue back in. So it keeps it from um, dripping out while you're working. So here we go. About right there, looks about center to me. And we have both glues on there, so. All right, then I'm going to wait for it to set up and then get his feet on. Okay, so we're ready for the feet. My white feet. So I'm going to um, do the same, I guess. I'm going to go in the center. No. Go around the outside edge with the E6000 and then the hot glue in the center. Pull on the tube, don't forget, or it'll leak out all over the darn place. Uh, store, yeah. um, and then the hot glue big glob in the middle and then 
hurry up because it cools the E6000 or the cold glue um, sets the hot glue up faster. Seems to be, to me, I don't have much luck using both of them at the same time. I usually will wait and put something on later. Either. Well, it can't be really. What am I doing? I'm losing what I'm doing here. Um, I have gone on, you know, put the hot or put the E6000 on, and then you know got it down where it was. Yep, it immediately starts just pouring out of there. Man, man. Come on. Let me go ahead and put the cap on. Real quick. Yeah, it just starts pouring out. So if you pull on it, it pulls the the stuff back in. I learned that with um, toothpaste, actually. So this time I'll put the glob on there. And uh, here we go. Hot glue, do your stuff. Kind of frayed a little bit down there. So hopefully it sets up well. Yeah, it's definitely frayed a little bit. But we have a pot man. And now when we set him on the shelf, look at my little pot man. When we set him on something, his little feet will be dangling. So I know you can't see his face real well. I'm going to um, fix him up so that he will have buttons and everything. Come over here and show him your little people. Stand right here. Cadence wants to show you her little people. Look at that. She did that all by herself. What an awesome artist we have. She actually is very has a very good imagination. All right, I'll be back after all this stuff sets up. It looks like one of my feet are falling off already. So I'll be back to do his body. So this, you can't see the face. It's dark. I can see it really well. But it's so dark, you can't see it on the camera. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go through and I'm going to I'm going to change it, his eyeballs to white instead of black on blue. Here you could probably see it a little bit, but but yeah, I'm going to change it. So um, next time you see it, it should have a white. I have to use paint. I don't have white markers. Uh, I never thought white markers were necessary until you start painting different colors. Oh my gosh, my legs. My legs are asleep. They won't come back to life. They um, called for an emergency um, MRI. My insurance said for an emergency, I had to wait three days. I don't understand why an emergency would be three days, but I'm afraid that the numbness is going to be permanent. Right now, I've got the tingle. Like if you sit on the potty for too long, your legs go numb. And then you stand up, you get those feelings of the blood flowing back through. It feels tingly and, you know, a little numb, but you can feel the streaks of, you know, coming back to life. That's the way they feel, but it never stops. It, it never brings the life back. They're still numb. I get the tingling. So there's nothing. I don't have diabetes. I don't have that. It's all in my back. It's all coming from my back. So, the emergency MRI, they said for three days, is set for Wednesday. Now, I'm a little nervous about tomorrow I'm getting that knee block done, but I'm not, I want it so bad that I don't even, I can't even express to you how bad I'm, I'm wanting that. So, my ride got sick, so now my husband's going to have to leave work early to um, come and take me, but... That's fine. I have to do this. I, I have to do this. I've got to get my knee pain. And this is just for pain. This isn't for mobility. I'm still going to have the same knee issues. I'm just not going to feel it. And that's very important at this stage. My, my life is uh, very sad right now. Because I, I mean, I can't even go on vacation. Because I can't sit in a car for very long. We went and seen uh, my son Jacob and his wife Chelsea. Um, yesterday and it was pure misery I should have never went but I love my son I want to see my son I don't get to see him very often 
So it was nice. It was a good time. But I'm but I'm glad. You know, I was glad when I got back home and I could, you know, stretch my legs out and put the ice pack on my back and whatnot. And that seems to help a little bit. But um, the doctor put me on prednisone and um, changed my muscle relaxer. And I slept like a baby last night. And I am not kidding. I got up one time to use the restroom and I was so tired that I fell asleep um, there on the potty and uh, I also remember sitting up thinking that I had to get up for some reason you know must have been dreaming something and I fell straight forward sleeping straight forward towards the the door jam or whatever you call that the the frame um, the piece of wood you know on along the frame there and I caught myself on it right before I hit and I'm like what are you doing so you know I laid back down and slept and oh my goodness I bet I slept I think I went to sleep at about 1030 and I got up at 8 and I was so happy because I've been living on three four hours of sleep about three and a half hours of sleep every night so yeah so anyways I'm gonna paint this these eyeballs white and um, yeah, I just thought I'd tell you about what was, you know, kind of going on here with my back and my um, pain situation.
Okay, so here's my final reveal. I call him Mr. Spike here. And there's a couple of my favorite characters. There's Tina Belcher and Tommy Pickles. And here he is, his hands. I did do the opposite and which turned out all right. I didn't mean to, but my granddaughter was down here and I was a little distracted. And then you see the plant becomes his hair. And this, I, I'm not a florist. I, I am terrible at this. And hey, there you are on camera. Um, yeah, so you can't tell it here, but his eyes are black and you can actually see it. It's just not coming out on the, for the video. But you know, I worked hard. The paintbrush is so much harder than a marker. Um, yeah, he's not perfect. I might go around his eyeballs again with blue. But I think overall he turned out okay, except for my um, thumbprint there with the white paint. So anyway, um, tell me what you think. Um, he's, uh, he's an inside pot. He hasn't been uh, sealed or anything. So he will set up on my window ledge. He probably won't go outside. Um, I'll put a, a succulent or a cactus axle. I have a cactus growing kit I think I might put in there. And yeah, you can see my messy table behind me. Um, my whole life is like this. It seriously is. Here's my uh, paintbrushes, brand new ones. And then just stuff that I need that I use all the time. I'm like, why put it away if I use it, you know? So anyway, here's my final reveal. I hope you like it. Please let me know. Please click like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Um, but the like button is really important to a YouTuber. But you know what? If you don't, you don't. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.